so wobbly. Hello and welcome to a live stream Candlepin Bowling Putnam Street Lanes Fitchburg. The slide has returned. It's not. The knees are not complaining yet. They were right as soon as people slide on it after the refurbishment that they did. That'll get better, and it certainly has. Hello, Harry from Hingham. So, Putnam Street Lane 10, we are not. I am not sure we're going to be able to do a full show. This is a super popular place since Mason's died, although right now there's only me and one other person here. But there's supposed to be a large party that's going to take up these three lanes, and this place is full all the time now since Mason's closed. So let's see how many games we can get in. I'm not going to rush it, but when it gets to around quarter of three, I'm going to... Well, before that, I'll see whether or not... We're going to need to pack it up and call it. By the way, this is game five for me. Let's watch me suck at bowling. Literally the day before I have to, the day before I process the videos because of storms. Anyway, here we go. Actually, I'm going to be the only one here for now. The first ball, the ten's nice. Two weeks after the big snowstorm of shoveling for six and a half hours straight, heavy snow, it's still killing me. But not bad enough to not bowl. Looks like our friend Bob Kaleri is here. Let's see if we can get rid of him. It is great. And per usual, I was taking the phone out every now and then. Yeah, we got a pin stuck in the pin. The pit there. Oh, it fell. I'll recite to you the half and show you the end game. to stop moving. In case you couldn't have seen that because of bit, you know, because of uh, you know, bitstream or I forget the term. Anyway, the ball went between the two pins, bounced and went between them again. Nothing. Bit raid is the word. And another eight. Thank you. 
Oh, well, I was going to say, that was set up for a spare, but... Might have to purposely aim slightly right. I suck, what do you expect? I'll have more time doing this when I can when I finish up the bowling alley in the basement. Saturdays if they're available and Sundays are the only times I practically have to do any. Steadily going down the tubes. There's a half whister. was not the kind of spare we were all expecting from a half whister. As Dave Maddow would say, it's pretty when it goes. They have still not aired the last month of King of the Palace. It's still out there. El Stenko, the bonus ball. Epco Urethane Proline, the only thing professional you're seeing on this channel. But we're at halftime. So we got a 10 and one. Eight, two, three, and four, done the spare five so far. 44 with El Stinko. El Stinko stinks for the leave. Six filling too bad, so that brings the half of 50. Got them all. That one fell out. So I got a pin from Mason's because how the hell did that not fall over? It is great. I really hope soon that Candleton Bowling returns to YouTube. I miss New England Candletons, the uh, Candleton Next Gen. I, is Candleton's cancer still a thing? Anyway, uh, I could check. That's a that's a good show. time it slipped and it was good. Eight is great. Alright, I need in these two frames I need four to hit bottom end of average skill. According to records from ICBA Casual League Bowlers, which I put myself up to, even though I'm a schmuck in and plays. 
average skill is 80 to 100. That may not have been, yeah, I was going to say that it may not have been good, but yeah, a piece of wood there, maybe. All right, that was lucky because that was definitely not working. Don't call it dumb luck because it was pretty good. El Stinko the bonus ball. What will this one be? I will, oh, we got a pin in the pit. That can't be there. There we go. What will the bonus be? And of course, if I remember to, which I forgot the half is, read comments. ball but it cleared a lot of crap out we got the snow plow remaining seven fell bad. Uh, nothing really bad there except some leaves, but other than that, got a dollar one. And then we say yes to the computer. Will we match? If I got 69, haha. -ha. But that would have stunk. The only good thing that would have came out of that is a free game. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure if we're going to be able to keep going like we normally do. All right. All right. Hello from Harry from him. Hello, Tom. Bull 172 and at 297 to 77. Nine pin league, ten pin. You were playing and I. Is there a variation ten pin there? Matthew's coin cards. Hello. Hello. Glad you're back. And like I said, reason you're not seeing too many live streams of bowling is. I'm. Trying to get a bowling alley finished in my basement, and Saturdays and Sundays are the only times I have. It's getting ridiculously close to finished, even though it may not look it. Game two for you, six for me, and depending on how busy this place gets, we may be ending slightly early. I'm gonna go to Putnam's appointment dad after class on Thursday. Putnam, very easy place. Which is why when I get a hundred a lot of times, if I do, remember where we are. And we start with a beautiful Kaliri, and that's a five.
That may fix things. That means it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? El Stinko lives up to its name from three. But that brings the score to reasonable. Decent out, Bowling God's middle finger for now. Yeah, the people here were right. As people play on this newly resurfaced surface more and more the slide better it's a lot better than it. last time I was here if you saw it on last game and a half I was literally trying to stay off my left knee as much as I possibly could because it was hurt because of the lack of slide it's a lot better now and during the wetter and uh, wetter months that's even a better thing yeah, right. Yeah, you don't wait for the ball ball. Another spare. El Stinko. Welcome to Putnam Street. The only way that could have turned into a sudden. This is why I tell people if you want to play this game and you're, not, and you're willing to drive to Fitchburg and want higher scores down here because it's the easiest place there is without, without questionable ethics. Like 10 pin in candle pin if you simply mark three times in a row it's a turkey and if we do we'll let the let you see the animation for turkey anyway yet another El Stinko oh wait we're at the half we'll stop and tell you what's going on here we have a lovely five to start with then a spare then a nine first ball only knocking down three then a spare then a second spare that second spare, the first ball knocked down seven. So we're at least 54 right now. I plan to go to Woburn either tonight or tomorrow. Good luck with them. I think, they're, I think their hours are trash unless they've improved lately. That would have, that would have gone in Mason's or the Palace. Oh, wouldn't have. True. Especially Mason's. The Palace, mm, there's a chance. I... But I do still agree. All right, El Stinko, let's go for the turkey. Nine fell. No 
leftover, no leftover sandwich meat. I'm filling a nine. I'm okay with that. One frame too late. To the score, it doesn't matter much. Anyway, this thing's stuck. It's 204 hard. It's, it's a tough place, but it also varies depending on the lane you get. I think they say lanes 3... 12 and 13, I think, or 12, or 3, 13, 14 are the easiest ones. Two's kind of a pain. And most of them are pretty average. It, they, it does gift you. They'll sing in the bonus ball. So it does gift you. It's, But what's really hard is the price tag, 35 an hour. Snow plow again. Seven fill. At least we had sprawling wood for that crappy shot. Niner. Maybe I need to injure my elbow more often. Seem to do better with it. Again, that's from literally six and a half hours straight of shoveling very heavy, wet snow. When we had that big storm for you weeks ago. All right. Frame nine. And halfway to Worcester. It is great. Remember where we are. Stinkos. Just four pins and we'll have what we call the Cinderella moment. And we have a Cinderella game. Even Putnam Street will call the Cinderella game. it matters and we have a Cinderella game but also remember where we are that sucks other than that $1.24 might be the highlight 
All right, so say yes to the computer. Let's see if we match. No. Again, the 69. Here, the winning score is between 50 to 130. Anything in there. You score more than that or less than that, you ain't get a chance at winning a free game. Alrighty. Thank you, Mr. Chuck Fry. That's actually well, what else uh, is on the no bowl list? Acton Metro and uh, Riverwalk. Apparently they didn't like the fact that I pointed out that they uncovered asbestos when they were doing a rebuild. And apparently, from what I understand, uh, well, I'll just say things were kind of not done right. But that's what I've heard. I cannot say it's true, but since I'm banned from there, I guess it's true. But no one's willing to confirm that I'm banned from there. Like I give a rat's ass. Yeah, it's clean as a hospital, but that's a... And well maintained, I'll give them that. So yeah, Riverwalk. Metro, because the uh, guy treated me like, like dirt there. And Acton, same reason. They treated me like dirt both times I went there. So anyway, game seven for me, and that would be number three for you guys. i got to keep an eye on the clock, because like I said, they might need these three lanes. So we may either have to move or... Holland. Let's go. That's a Putnam Street strike for you. Yeah, the elbow's complaining a little bit. Like I said, Six and a half straight hours of lifting 50 plus pounds of heavy wet snow during that snowstorm. Two and a half weeks later, I'm still hurting, but nowhere near as bad. Two will stink of the bonus balls. As Matthew says, another hammer indeed. Can I get another one? Here I've done it, I think, seven times. Double. And and twice screwed out of a triple. I won. First ball decided to go halfway to Worcester. Second ball decided to go halfway as well. Lousy two fill. This could be a professional two. A two frame that even the pros get. Welcome to Putnam Street. I don't think that would have happened at Mason's, that's for sure. Niner.
maybe an Acton Bolodrome that would have been a strike. They like the silicone there. These have old fashioned 10 pin pin plates. Specifically designed to be so smooth, pins can slide sideways, which is why people accuse this place of uh, using silicone, but they don't. I have successfully recreated the smoothness on a lab bench at work just simply by wearing down a section of it from working on it. Hell stink of the bonus ball. Let's see what we get. Nice eight, Phil. As Casey McCool will yell, wood player. Take a niner. So at the half, we got the strike. A nine and two, but unfortunately, both balls went halfway to Worcester the same way, meaning only a lousy two fell. 10 spare, 9. First ball knocking down 8. We are at 58 at this point in time. And yes, Matthew, silicone is the juice. And I've proven a billion times. I even went up there with a dry, with a dry hand, you know, underneath the thumb, rubbed my, rubbed my, rubbed that plate. Still was bone dry. Wouldn't happen if it were silicone. Half time over. Now, one thing that does happen is there is a there's a lane treatment that's used, and that might, that can get on the pin plate and make things a little silly. But there's no silicone. No. Almost slobbed that one, but almost means no. That is a nine. Street 8. 
Yeah, the kingpin was there. just goes around the middle finger for the knife. Another Pundin Street strike. Two of the bonus balls. Let's see what we get. Good enough for three digits. And finally. Eight is great. Sucked. Other than the halfway to Worcester thing, 111. Let's say yes. Oh, I forgot 97. We would have got a free game. All right, this may be the last game. After this, I got to check to see. 551 lanes. Nope. That's not. Those on Facebook will know exactly what it's called because I've been calling it a certain name. It will be revealed in the final video. And yes, the home Candlepin Bowling Alley video I'm working on now is the final. Because we're that far along. In the Putnam Street. And a lousy seven to start. but I've had a one frame and still ended with a 101. Perfect. Just a hair off, but not enough to matter. El Stinko. We gotta move it along just in case. Not rush it, but move it along. Seven fill. Good place for the wood.
got a little lucky there. The smooth 10 pin pin plate was the only reason that became a spare. El Stinko again. Well, I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to keep it moving. And Kaliri. Halfway decent fill. Decent nine. I mean, if this runs a little long and they come early and they need these lanes, then they can wait until I finish. Again. It's not like Brian's where you're racing a, where you're racing a parking meter. nine and half time. Seven. Beautiful start there. And a spare. Then a second spare. First of all, knocking down seven. Then a niner. First of all, knocking down five, leaving that Kaliri. And another nine. Four of 57. That's on a place last year but they wouldn't let me go on this oh yeah they didn't let me go the last time I was there I wanted to be on the semi-automatic side that's not a bad place I gotta go back there someday anyway in case they're waiting for these lanes let's keep this going but like I said we're not gonna rush this then I'm gonna go to the desk and see if they need it Just squeak an eight out of that one, and we're waiting again. All right, more, this happened during Watch Me Suck as well.
All right. While she's fixing that, I also asked her about big event. Uh, they're just going to shift everyone one lane over, so they're going to be on seven, eight, nine, and we can keep going. And we're not going to lose too many games if we had to go. screwed everything up. The answer may be yes, but the answer is also Putnam Street. been getting them with a clipped wing or wing blown off. I didn't get that leave though. Yeah. Well, at least it hit something for eight. Seven. If I didn't get that seven. Sucky Phil, but turned out okay. Sucky frame. Pair of nines. We can continue. Ah, oh, if I scored four less, I'll take the four more free game but nope alrighty before we start the next game I see stuff flying in so caught it just before it disappeared yeah. it does pin and roll around it <laughs> you know what in 10 pin that's the same thing I mean every now and then it won't it'll realize there's nothing on the deck but yeah even 10 pin that does happen where it'll clear dead wood that's not there all right game number nine that would be number five for you
It is great. And I twisted my elbow. Kingpin stands for nine. No, it's a little hard to tell on YouTube because the five pin is obviously further away from the deck light than the one pin. The middle pin that appears darker is the five pin. It's great. Couldn't have done much better. Hey, nine. It's different. Actually, it seems to be an alternating pattern. Yep, alternating pattern. Eight nine, eight nine, eight. That's a forty two. <laughs> nine eight seven. Oh, I remember those. Yeah, I try to keep this channel non political, but I do remember high school days when it was ninety nine cents. Junior high when it was in the sixties. Yep, when I'm not needing to take, not needing to rush, now everything falls apart. Middle finger for nine, it's still a good game.
and a stink cream of four. That kind of wrecked it. Middle finger again for now. Just barely stayed on for 10. Dropped in after the pin hit. Pin for the nine. Yeah, it's still acceptable. That frame sucked. No, no, you know, no marks kind of stinks a bit too. Oh well, an 83. It's acceptable. We hit the yes. <laughs> I wouldn't want the 62. My lowest score here is 54, so that's a possible hit. All right, three more games to go. something cold but it's not stopping anything. The knees are still good.
open to Putnam Street. There's wood in the pack, the way. If that were only ball two, I would get ten. Welcome to Putnam Street. Think that would have happened at Mason's? Something had to go wrong if that weren't a spare. That being said, I'll stinko. Let's see what it gives us. Why did that piece roll the wrong way? Eight, Phil. Held on that one way too long. Decent eight and half time before. Ten, nine, ten, spare, eight, which happens to be the number of pins fall. That fell on ball number one, we're at 55, which is pretty good. All right, Chuck, have a good one. Surprise, Niner became a 10. Lousy six to wreck it. Oh, actually no. Still all right.
And now the acrid's starting to go away. Middle finger for now. Side of the hip pin. Got the ten. And the beer league is here. Once again, we can say if it wasn't for one frame, the one with the six. Yeah, you know, that one looks sucked. Let's see if we match. Nope. 75. I'll take 99 over that. Game seven for you, eleven for me. Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what it gives us. That wouldn't happen at Mason's. That's a Putnam Street strike. Putnam Street strike. I don't even think that would happen at the palace either. Yes, Watson, and hello to you as well. And yes, Tom Riley, I 100% agree. Two El Stinkos. Let's see what they add up to. Purposely went safer for a better fill. That's an eight. Final ball. And perfect game, no more, which typically happens around the third frame. And that's an eight.
In Candlepin Bowling, unlike the others, a perfect game is getting all the pins down in your turn, regardless if it takes one, two, or all three balls. In 2019, I don't remember who, somebody got the lowest possible score for a perfect game, all 10, which is 100. World record is 245. No one's got a 300. Chris Sargent, which I keep calling Carl, and I apologize. I'm terrible at people's names. And Sem, I forget his first name. They, Sem was the first one to get it. Sergeant tied it. Me, nowhere near. Putnam Street. Amy feels what up front. Striking one. No, spare and one. Strike and two, which means ten fill. And an eight. The first two balls happen to be that. A ten and an eight, we're at sixty-four. Stinks with a four, and that's a stinky way to get it. There's the guy in the welcome to Mason. Well, welcome to Mason's. I feel bad for this guy. Woo! One more mark and we get a turkey. Thank you. 
And there goes the turkey dinner yet again. I usually get warm up. Middle finger for nine. another Cinderella game. Fill was the worst thing. Dollar twenty-five. Cannot complain. I don't think we're getting a free game with a dollar twenty-five. Eighty-one. All right, we're getting. There's a little more interest in this now that sports betting is legal in the state of Massachusetts. According to MGM Springfield, three to one, it's going to end under 80. Five to two in the 90s. Seven to seven to one, hundreds. 75 to one, 110. And 85 to one, 120 and above. I know, they got, they got the Masons at Putnam Street. Sucks when that happens, I know. Let's see how this goes. Stinko the bonus ball. Oh, that was a 
plan B. I was aiming for plan A. We'll take it. Which means El Stinko. How Stinko lives up to its name a single time. That could be redemption. Let's see what we got here. Halftime report. Lovely six and one. Spare and two. Spare and three. First ball knocking down six. Nine and nine and four. Fortunately, first ball was just one for the fill. Another spare and another spare. We're at 52 with El Stingo. Mechanics for remaining six. So that would make it fifty eight. This has been a good day. In spite of being away, slightly injured. Like I said, I guess with a busted elbow, I do not.
wood in the middle. Shot sucked. Yeah, Elizabeth Warren's giving away a lot of money. with a crappy seven. But not a crappy score. That frame sucked. That fill is yeah, okay I guess. That fill sucked. What a 111. Let's see if we match for our final game. The answer is no. So that is this adventure at Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.